Hey guys, welcome to day four of unit one. This is our last lecture for this unit. Um, your unit test will be next class, so make sure you're prepared for that. Um, we've made it to the end. Yay! Congratulations. Um, today we're going to go ahead and pick up with empires and trade routes. We're going to wrap up the unit with that, so let's go ahead and get started on it. All right, so here is a map of the trade routes that you need to know. Um, but first, I want you to stop and think for a minute. Why do you think people trade? Why is trade so important? Um, something that you need to remember is that when people trade tangible items like foods or gems or products or other stuff, like products would be stuff, okay? Tangible items are stuff. When that stuff gets traded, there's, there's other stuff like ideas that get traded as well. So things like calendars, math, religions, cultures, those things are also traded as well. So in the map here, you can see that there are five major trade routes that you have to know for your SOL test. In a minute, I want you to pause the video and draw these trade routes onto your map. Now listen, don't freak out on me here, okay? Um, I do not expect your trade routes to be perfect or exact, but I do want you to make sure you are using the exact same kind of lines that I am using down in the key down here. Okay, so please make sure that you're you're using the correct lines for the correct trade routes. Um, I, like I said, I don't expect your trade routes to be perfect, but I do expect you to be able to recognize that, oh, okay, these lines going across Asia over to Europe, that is the Silk Road. I expect you to know that this, these things that are all along, going along the coast of all of these um, different countries and continents here, I expect you to know that those are maritime routes. So I don't expect it to be perfect, but I do need you to know exactly what those things are. So take a minute, click pause, and let's get those trade routes drawn in. All right, so my next question should be pretty easy for you. Without a key on this map, you should be able to identify which color is a maritime route and which is the Silk Road. So think for a minute, examine the map, what color do you think is the Silk Road? What color do you think is the Maritime Route? You should have said that the Silk Road are the red lines that are going across our map and that the Maritime Routes are blue. Maritime is one of the vocab terms that you looked up in class the other day. And so you should know that a Maritime Route is a route that goes along the water. So all of these blue lines, um, those are all Maritime Routes, okay? The Silk Road is indicated by the red lines. It's on land, so here's an easy way to remember that. Roads, as in like the Silk Road, go across land. So the Silk Road connects China with the west, specifically Constantinople, which is right there, where that arrow is. Okay. All right, flip over onto the back of your map. I want you to take a minute and draw this chart on the back of your map and then fill it in. Um, we're going to talk much more about these other empires and units that come later on in the year. But for right now, I need you to make sure you know that these are the items that are being traded from these various empires. So click pause, go ahead and get those jotted down on your chart. All right. I'm assuming you have your chart done. Go ahead and flip your map back over onto the other side where you have your trade routes drawn. In a minute, you're going to click pause and you're going to color in your map as I have it here. Um, you do not have to have the exact colors that I have on this one. I'm not going to make you use the same colors that I use. Um, there are two other empires that you will need to know for your SOL test, the Aztec and the Incan empires, but those are located in the Western Hemisphere and we're going to discuss their locations and those empires in much more detail in Unit 3, which is our exploration unit. All right, so other than being able to recognize the empires, the major states, and trade routes, knowing what the major trade items were, that's pretty much all you have to do for today's notes. Um, your test is going to be next class. Um, I'm going to pop back in here for a second. I want to tell you that if you have questions, you should be working on your study guide. You should have been working on that all along throughout the unit, but if you are still working on your study guide, please, if you have questions, you need to send me a text message via remind or email me at mcroach at bbschools.com. If you've got any questions on your study guide, please 
email me and let me know, um, and I'll help you out with that. Um, other than that, your test is next class. Make sure you're studying. I know you guys are going to do great on it, and I will see you then. Bye.